Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bat Cave. It's so dark today. I know that this room, I have got to sort out the lighting um, because basically it's so bright in front of the window that everything else looks really dark. But I don't have time to even eat or go to the toilet at the moment. Actually, that's an exaggeration. Um, let alone sort out the lighting for my videos. So you just have to bear with it for a moment. Dexter has come back from the groomers looking absolutely ridiculous. No offence mate, but you do look a little bit silly. Oh, poor Dexter. Anyway, October favourites, I'm going to whiz through because we've got about, I don't know, what do you reckon? 10 minutes of daylight left. It's not long, is it? And then the bats will come out and the vampires and what on earth am I talking about? I've got a baby that side of the camera so that I can keep it entertained and wave just started getting this really bad ringing in my ears and also something really terrible has started happening to my eyesight and I think it's from using my iPhone loads in bed when I'm breastfeeding in the middle of the night and just kind of doing everything on the iPhone because, am I boring you? Because that's the only chance I get to kind of catch up on stuff. And not only has my short distance sight gone really funny but my long distance has kind of gone a bit blurry as well. So I'm a bit worried about that and I'm going to go and um, book an eye test when I've finished doing this. Priorities obviously, make sure I get October favourites done first. So talking about eyes, my first thing, because I've been getting really dry, uncomfortable eyes, probably again from not wearing my glasses and looking at the iPhone too much. Um, and I've never used eye drops but I do like using this, it's Lizelle's Eye Bright and it's a soothing eye lotion and I put this on two kind of rounds of cotton wool and press it onto my eyes and it makes a very, very affordable um, version of those eye masks that you can get. Because you can just saturate, uh, if you damp the cotton wool a bit first as well, it goes even further. But um, you can use it for cleansing the eyes as well if you've got very low key makeup on, it won't get mascara off or anything like that. Um, but if you sometimes feel that after cleansing, you have a little bit of balm left on or something around the eye area and you just want something to quickly wipe over. This is really, really nice. Other eye stuff, I mentioned this in a video not so long ago, that's the Estee Lauder kind of serum and concealer thing. It's called Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum and Concealer and it's got a liquidy serum thing on one end which is really nice for just kind of just brightening up the eye area a little bit and then it's got a proper waxy old concealer stick on the other end for more heavy duty concealing. So what I've been doing is using the serum as a kind of primer just to make the eye area feel a little bit more hydrated and smooth and then after that's dried out a bit going in with the waxier concealer and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a really nice idea this duo as I said in my other video doesn't overtake for me the Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer because that's my all-time favourite, but it's pretty good. Last eye thing is the Chanel. What the hell is this called? Because I've gone on about this loads and I've never actually learned the name. Volume Ultra Noir de Chanel and it's Noir Cole in number 90. It's a really gorgeous mascara. I've only got one and a half coats on of this because I got interrupted when I was doing my makeup. But you can see that it's really kind of jet black and very volumising and I like it a lot. Shot up to my favourites. I've tried some really nice mascaras recently. I need to do a mascara post. Little brush. This is from Bobbi Brown and it's the full coverage face and touch up brush. So it's got a foundation for full coverage there because you can have a foundation and you can apply it in different ways and it will have a different effect. So you can get a full coverage foundation and you can sheer it out by using a wet um, beauty sponge or something like that or you can get a really full coverage depending on what type of brush you use. I mean you're never going to get a really full coverage with a sheer foundation obviously but um, you can kind of make a little bit of difference to your base depending on what type of uh, tool that you use and this is really great for full coverage. I don't actually have any foundation on today. I'm using this because I'm trying it out for a post I think I mentioned this before, the Eucerin CC Cream, um, which is really sheer coverage. So I haven't used this today, but I've used it with my Max Factor um, Miracle Match 
what it's called. Yeah, Miracle Match. Uh, and it worked really well. And then on the other end, you've got this little concealer -y one, which I have used, and I used that to buff the Estee Lauder concealer in. And it's just really nice and perfect for doing under the eyes. Some of them I find are always a little bit too flimsy um, or small. This you can just go like bosh, bosh, bosh with your concealer and blend it in, and it's really good. So I like that a lot. What else do I have on? Oh, I don't have this on, but I'm going to put some on now. The new CID Cosmetics Eye Glow in Sirocco, which I showed in my glowing face powder video and I really loved. Um, it's just got a lot of highlighter in this, so if you want something to add a bit of colour but also loads of glow, then this is perfect. But um, have a look at the glowing face powders video if you want to see this in action more. On my lips, I've got the Clarins Lip Oil. Now, they bought this out for instant light lip comfortable. Everyone went crazy for it, so they've bought it out and I think it's here to stay now. And this shade is Honey. You can see it's got this really good doe foot applicator and it's kind of like a consistency of a gloss really, but it's an oil, but it's not sticky. I mean, you know what it is? Everyone always says about these things, oh, and it's not sticky. To me, that feels sticky. I mean, compared to a lipstick or a lip balm where there's no stickiness whatsoever, um, you know, I can stick my finger to that, but it's got a really lovely nourishing feel and a really nice gloss to it, kind of like an ambery toned gloss. So I like that a lot. Uh, and if you missed out on it the first time, then obviously you can get that now if you want to. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, some birthings. Actually, no, before that, hair. I mentioned this in my September favourites, it's my new Lux Shine Spray from Colab. It's a fragrance spray that's got um, kind of really grown up perfume notes in. So it's oud, it's bergamot and it's cashmere. So really sexy, sultry, very kind of sophisticated. And there's also a little bit of kind of shiny gloss to this spray as well. Now I mentioned it in last favourites, but actually it's only just come out. It just gives a little bit of sheeny shine. Hopefully that's showing up there. I can never tell whether things are showing up. Glow powders for the face, shine for the hair. Anything that's subtle, you can't tell until you edit the video. And then you either look silly or you look like a genius. Some things for the bath. Oh, uh, that is 4 99 and it's at Superdrug Feel Unique. Um, they did have it on offer at Superdrug actually, it's like an introductory thing, I think it was 3 99 But I'll double check and I'll put all the information in the description box below. Um, so really gorgeous that one for kind of party time hair going on for Christmas. And all the little parties we're going to be going to. You don't need any because you don't have any hair. Three little relaxing things now to finish off. I've been using this loads, this is the Neome Tranquility English Lavender Sweet Basil or Jasmine Bath and Shower Oil and it just smells amazing. You only need a tiny, tiny few drops. It says to do a capful, but if you can pour that into that cap, then you're a better woman than me, because, or man, because um, it's just kind of really impossible and it goes everywhere. So I just tip it and tip a few drops into the bath and it just is incredible and it really does properly relax me. Um, it's just pure, beautiful oils, no, weird artificial fragrances or anything like that. Um, so it's proper aromatherapy and it, it does really work to kind of switch me off and make me just a bit more relaxed before bedtime to stop my head whirring around with loads of different things. Um, I've also been using this. This is the Bioskin Junior Bath Time Bath Milk. Uh, just because I was feeling that, uh, obviously oils don't do this to me, but I'd been, um, Using a couple of shower gels and my skin had started feeling a little bit tight and not that great. And I stole this shamefully from the baby's stash of beauty stuff um, because it said it would calm skin prone to eczema and severe dryness. And I just thought that would be nice for my skin and it did. It's nice. And I've been using it in the baby's bath as well. That is by Salcura, that one. So two little bath things. And then this, which isn't a bath thing, but is a kind of relaxation treatment. A ritual, that's the word. This is pure rest wellness oil. 
I don't know whether that's the actual box or a sample box, but inside, basically this comes from um, a place where they make all of the amazing essential oils that supply big brands like Estee Lauder. Um, and so they're, they're just the most top quality oils. Is it Uma? U-M-A? I have to look up about this brand and I'll put the links below, but this is called Pure Rest Wellness Oil and it smells, it's just beyond anything that I've ever smelled really. It just feels like it's transporting you to a different place. And there's a whole ritual that goes with it. You're supposed to put the drops in your hands and massage in between your toes. Don't know why in between your toes, there must be a reason. Um, but I've been not really doing my toes, but I've been kind of getting the um, oil and pressing it between my palms and then smelling it and deep breathing and then putting it on my pulse points and here. And it's been working really, really well. And between that and the Neon bath oil, I'm pretty much unconscious um, about 10 seconds before I hit the pillow. So that's all good. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, yes, the last thing is uh, this book that I've been reading. And this is the new Robert Galbraith book, Career of Evil. Um, Robert Galbraith, as we know, is J.K. Rowling, and these are the Cormoran Strike detective novels. And this is the third one, and it's really dark. And it's not so much scary, but it's just really dark, and some of it's really horrible. Um, but it's a real page turner. And since I've had the baby, I've not been that into really horrible horror stories or anything like that. I've found them, that they've really affected me and I feel really chilled by stuff very easily. Um, so I keep having to stop it and then read something on the internet happy just to clear my mind a bit and then go back to it. But I can't put it down. It's really good. I'll put the link to it underneath. Um, hopefully the ending won't be rubbish because then you'll all be like, Ruth told us to read this book and it's rubbish. Uh, but I'm about 60% of the way through and it's brilliant. So yeah, that's it. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and go and check out my website. I've also got a baby blog, The Uphill, which I shall link to underneath and I'll see you next time.